Ukraine will become a member of the alliance, uh, and I'm confident that the summit uh, will make decisions which will be uh, strong and positive uh, on uh, Ukraine. And uh, we are now discussing uh, this package that uh, was launched in Oslo um, of uh, practical support to enable full interoperability between Ukrainian forces and NATO forces. Uh, stronger political ties um, with the NATO Ukraine Council and then uh, the removal of uh, the membership uh, action uh, plan. And of course this is about moving uh, Ukraine uh, closer to, uh, to, uh, to membership. Uh, but again, the final decisions will be taken when every ally, uh, uh, when we all agree and the, and the, and the leaders meet uh, uh, tomorrow. So it's too early to announce exactly the specific uh, decisions and the specific uh, language. Um, I think also it is important to communicate that all allies agree that Ukraine will become a member of the alliance, but we also agree that um, NATO store remains open. And uh, we have demonstrated that um, by inviting Finland and Sweden to become members. And uh, uh, we have, uh, and Finland is also a full uh, member. And we uh, have also reiterated again and again that, of course, it is uh, for the uh, allies and Ukraine to decide uh, when the time is right to invite Ukraine to be a, a full uh, member. Uh, the most urgent task now uh, is to ensure that Ukraine um, prevails as a sovereign and independent nation in, uh, in Europe, because unless Ukraine prevails, uh, then there is no membership issue to be discussed at all. So I think it's extremely important that we uh, continue to ensure that allies are uh, providing uh, weapons, ammunition, training, spare parts uh, and, uh, uh, to Ukraine, so they are able to liberate more land, but also to deter Russia uh, from further aggression.